Welcome, happy bees, to another episode of Assassin's Creed. And I will get in a little rant with this game in a second. But I accidentally hit a dog, so we're running to the mission, and hopefully, it will allow me to start the mission even though people are chasing me. Yeah? Alright, let's go. Run the wrong way. Where's the mission? There we go, that way. Yeah, so I hit the dog by accident. Mm, people don't like it. Chicken, everything on my case, isn't it? Chase, okay, we survived. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange him with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? <coughs> Pericles does. And he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. Well, if they see me, they die, so... So, basically, this game, yeah? So, when it comes to open world games, I enjoy, like, being overpowered. From all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans. Yeah, so I like being overpowered. Like, in Final Fantasy, I defeated the boss in about half an hour because I was so overpowered, I was overloaded. Right? So I was gonna do the same in this game where I do side missions, get overpowered, you know, so I can just, you know, basically, no speed run, but like, don't have to worry too much. I did it on Horizon, we did it on Horizon as well. I got the basically stupid armor. I still almost died. Oh! Oh my god. This is almost fun. Get it wrong in it. Uh screw that here. Oh, yeah, yeah, Do that. I want to go down. There we go. Heal. Trade for dude in a stain like get out my face, you pussy. Oh, 
Oh, she's 25. Come on, Oh no 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 tosh 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 Wait wait let's, let's get rid of open space a bit Fuck you. Ah shut your mouth Shut your mouth, you donkey! Fuck you know. Why she has gold? Oh, no. Kill his bow! What's the kill his bow saying? What's the kill his bow saying? Went to the Cretanian station shop, please. I use Pretty Shop more than anything. Right, time to get the thing. Oh, is there another mercenary? Oh, I meditated. Fuck my life. Oh! Please. <coughs> Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, so when I play these open world games, yeah, these guys give us missions, this and that, blah, 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 to do. So I like getting overpowered, right? So I'm doing missions, yeah, getting on, and then I find that the story missions level up with you. Am I confused? Like, what is this game doing? Like, there's other areas where... They're higher level than you, so you've got to level up. You have to level up to do that area, right? But you can't be over the area's level. I, I, I don't understand. I, I really don't. Like, why would you do that in the game? 
I promise you, if the next Assassin's Creed is like this here, oh, I am not buying it. Like, I enjoy the story. But fuck me, no thank you. Uh, where's... How'd you get inside? Am I confused? Oh, there you go. Yeah, like, I'm not on that line. That should do it. I should let Pericles' contact know. Because, like, if you should give me an option to level up and allow me to level up over the level, I choose the way I want to play my game. Not you level up the story with my level. Am I confused? Yeah. If someone doesn't want to be over leveled, you just don't do side missions. Why would I want to be level 26 in a level 26 mission? No. I want to be at least like 28, 29. Anyway, that was run over. But we're carrying on with the story. And we need to speak to Bossman about rigging the vote. So if someone doesn't leave. Man change is closed. My life. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. <laughs> Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Anaxagoras is to be ostracized. The bit deep. Be slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We were quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. Hey, someone clocked the system. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Oh. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are. And yes, every I mean. action has its pleasures and its price. With that said... Very wise man. Who do you claim to be? He told me. My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? 100%. Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Not really. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. Mm -hmm. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Brahmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I think you have the wrong person. You are claiming that you're the wrong person? Life's one true happiness is knowing yourself. Even if I did know who rigged the ostracism vote, I wouldn't tell you. And yet, I never said anyone rigged anything. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Stay. Oh, that's totally everything wanted. 
them to return to him and find out what these opinions know See, I would fight this bounty hunter, but I've learned from my mistake. Fighting bounty hunters in like these areas will result in an army fighting you. No thank you very much. Alright? So I will pay to get rid of you. Thank you. Goodbye. Time to meet Pericles. See what Bossman is saying. I should not know yet. We need to clip more armor and stuff and stop dismantling them. Where am I going? Money. See, that's when I just hit a dog. Look. Like three people on my case. This mercenary on my case. Like does. Why oh, he could take a lot of damage. Nobody has any respect for our work these days. Our oh, well, Habib, you're not my level. Like you're over it. Right now, 27. I'm alright. <coughs> my my boy Icarus here. Yeah? So how's everyone's day been then? Busy days? Chilling? Cause I just woke up. So I'm at half half dead, half alive. <coughs> Trying to not tilt from this game. You heard? The commander's sister is visiting. We'll be watching you, Miss Dios. Ah shut your mouth. At least give them a welcome. Pericles is home. Habibi, I'm home. <coughs> Cassandra, Oi. it's you. Phoebe. What is she we doing here? We promised we'd see each other again. And now we have. I also said stay out of trouble. Which I have. Okay. Almost out of trouble. How did you even get here, Phoebe? Well, I did make some drachmi working for Marcos. So you paid someone to bring you to Athens? Not exactly. Phoebe? I needed a drachmi for when I arrived. I couldn't use it all to leave, and I didn't want to wait any longer. So I sneaked on a ship. Don't worry, nobody saw. I just can't believe you made it. I don't remember much of Athens from when I was a baby. But every once in a while, something feels familiar. It's nice. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia, we didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No. She asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't. Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I trust her. If she shags me, oh my dear, this I'm going to wait. For her. I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for her to grow up. Uncomfortable. Like Cassandra, yeah. Like everyone else. Yeah, I like. You say that like it's a good thing. It is. If you want them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. 
Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. You should just put oh, dagger. And don't leave without saying bye. You just got here. You can't leave already. Yeah, so if she sneaks me, I will wait for her to grow up. And if the mighty mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it, but this group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> it looks more like a lover's quarrel to me. Ermipos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Protagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. But the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. <laughs> that isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh. He never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get his help with. Vile Socrates, always appearing where I least expect him. Warrior, protect me from his amorous gaze. Oh, Alcibiades, this is not a time for jealousy, but for love. Oh man, it's going funky. Am I confused? <clears throat> uh, let's not use Alcibiades as an example. Be good and don't drink too much. So, tell me, what does a Mystios like you think of a party like this? This is going to be a long night. Party should be about vomiting up blood, not vomiting up poetry. These people are so clean. If these guests aren't to your own unique tastes, then just focus on why you came here in the first place. Thank you, Herodotus. Now, if you'll excuse me, Pericles is here somewhere and I need to prepare him. If he's alone, I'll tell him what your brother said. Agreed. Pericles needs to know. I'll stay here and look for clues. I hope they know something about your mind. Oh, let's go, boys. Boys and girls, let's go, let's Me go. Me too. Gather information. Multiple quests accepted. Okay, I can't talk to him. Oh, this is talk. And so it is in the rich and powerful, but the gods who are the source of justice? What? No! Have you been listening to nothing I say? 
<laughs> Where are it? I suppose you've come in here to mock me for my fight with every pedis. I've seen lots of fights. That wasn't one. <laughs> I really made a fool of myself this time, didn't I? I'm Sophocles, though I'm sure you knew that. And you are? I am looking for information that'll help me find someone. A Spartan woman. Mm, a Spartan woman in Athens. Sounds intriguing. Though, if you expect me to notice someone other than myself, you expect too much. You could talk to every Pidis. He's the second most worldly man here. That ridiculous Xanthodontus exothalmic Morosov. But he doesn't talk without a drink. I have no idea what that meant. No, you don't. So we get him drunk and he talks. He sounds more Argiv than Athenian. Impressive foreigner. Everybody's is from Argos. All right. If nothing else, this party could use the help. You need to pick the right wine for this task. The kitchen should have what you need. Let me know when Everybody's is done in, and I'll slip away unseen. How do you know Pericles? I believe you mean to ask me, how does Pericles know you? I am the greatest dramatist in the land. Mentor to every Pedis, lover of Asclepios, father of theater, and so on, and so on. I'm sure it's a real honor to have you hiding in his kitchen. You're awfully worked up over every Pedis. You sure you're just friends? I'm never just anything, foreigner. Though I confess, every Pedis and I hold a bond deeper than brotherhood. Why he slams it with a banal young plaything, Aristophanes, I will never know. I'll get the one. Wonderful. Now, if you want some friendly advice, Aristophanes cannot stand sweet wine. I've seen what it can do to him. Absolutely, horrifyingly delightful. It wouldn't be a party without someone losing their stomach. I'll let you know if your plan worked. Okay, so best we're talking to this chick now. Say for that arrogant playwright. I don't see many distinguished guests in here. Can I help you with something? Uh. I've come to get your finest dry wine. Yes, take it. But get out of my kitchen. I'm very busy, you know. All right, relax yourself. A new face in Pericles' is abode! Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Don't call me. Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Everypidis. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Everypidis. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old every Pidis likes to say. Don't you, every Pidis? When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly! Bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm only here because I'm searching for someone. And yet it gave us the distinct impression it was here to fill our wine. Let's focus on that first, shall we? I'm Pericles' new servant. 
I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I... Perhaps one drink. To Dionysos. This, this is delicious. This is nectar of the gods. Another round. Uh, How about some more? I don't know how long to the drum. Where did you find this delicious wine? It must be Pericles' fine. Gosh, he just talks you too much. How oh, do we go? Wine makes good friends. Why don't you just apologize to Sophocles? It's he who should apologize to you. Sophocles is a friend, and one good friend is worth an entire family. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Ready for another? <laughs> this is the best symposium I've been to oh, in a while. You know what? I like you. Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pidis, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's <clears throat> my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Oh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician. Best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. Oh, shut him off. You're really annoying. Talk too much. Here I come. <laughs> How's every this? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? <laughs> Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Please, I is that the room? Yeah, that is. Go back, soldier. Go back. Go back. My brother's effing a donkey. Open this door, or I'll kick it in. Oh, oh, oh! Don't mind her. She likes to watch. Why he was effing a goat? Look at you. Such authority. Get him out of here. Such I will shank you. I can see why Pericles has taken such an interest in you. Did you come to join us? No. It sounded like someone was in pain. Well, it can sometimes be hard to distinguish between sounds of pleasure and pain. Had I known you were going to knock, I would have left my door wide, wide open for you. I'm okay. I only came to this symposium to find someone. Sounds like we can help each other then, doesn't No. It? You fetch us a bit of oil, oh. I help you find who you're looking for. Maybe they're in here. They're not She's in not here. in there. I think I'll check all the same. 
I come bearing gifts. <gasps> We're saved! Today, these women grieved for their sons, and these men worked the wall. But tonight, we forget all of that. Let's have some fun. Oh my god! What do you say? No, please Care let me say no. Join us. No. 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 Now, it's time for you to help me, Ali. I'm looking for someone. All business right until the end. I like that. Focus. I'm looking for a woman who fled Sparta a long, long time ago. Fled Sparta? No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. Theatera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Oh, the celebration continues. Please. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Yeah, that's shanky in your neck, like, be quiet. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. How do you touch me? Am I confused? Oh, you're Anna. Ah, if it isn't the one who agrees that knowledge is most important. I think we agreed. Her use of that knowledge couldn't be more different. Ah, you remember. Perhaps our conversation can continue. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasimachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! Hmm... Not really, because the more you build, the better you get at building, so it actually helps the builder. I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. Oh, who's this chick? There was spice out here, you know. Okay, 
guess it's time for us to say hello. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles mm. has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him, and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. Your spies have been watching me. I knew you people couldn't be trusted. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. These may be the nicest clothes I've ever worn, but I feel a bit uncomfortable, to be honest. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates... Oh, I fucked up! Seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you She's part of the thingy. Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get Pericles to come down here and greet his guests. Uh... Uh... bathroom? Oh, wait, I should probably have to go there and not just this. I thought this chick was getting Pericles as well. I'm not confused. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Phidias was awaiting trial, but you had me get him out of Athens. I figured you, of all people, would want to follow the law. Phidias is a very dear friend. I didn't want to risk him being found guilty. And, of course, there were other threats. So you knew? I know he's delusional, but... One day, when you have a friend you'd do anything for, you'll understand. I don't understand why you had Anaxagoras ostracized. Socrates said he was your friend. I won't risk the lives of those close to me if there's something I can do about it. So you did this to protect him? 
Anaxagoras understood my fears. Ten years may be a long time, but at least he'll be safe. Why send him at Diochos to the fishing district if it's dangerous? I would never have sent him into danger willingly. It seems you have many loyal friends. My people are important to me. Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. I don't know my about true worse. concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm related to one of the cult members, and I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia sent me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. Okay, come on. Oh, it would be so nice if I could climb down. Ooh. I'll help you however I can during the trials. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need the weapon after all. Are you leaving? Uh, I'm ready to I've go. had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Uh, there is a woman in Corinth I'd like to talk to. I've heard about that place from Alcibiades. He says you don't go there to talk. Alcibiades says a lot of things. He sure does. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. You better give me my weapons back. Let me tell you that now. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! Cheese. Okay, Habibis. This is where oh level up is. Wait, wait, what's the engraved that we done? Oh, I pressed start to it. Uh, abilities. How many? We have one ability point. Uh, damage and effect. Wow, efficiency increased significantly. Oh, I need level five. At least be level five. Or sixty percent, six second poison damage and weaken. Level three, then it says level five, isn't it? Uh. 
Yeah, but... Anyway, we shall leave it there. And I will see you lot. Wow. I'm like invisible. I will see you lot in the next episode. Hey!